What is the best way to read a textbook using AI? This is what I'm trying to figure out ever since I switched to using a textbook rather than solely ChatGPT, Grok, and large language models to try to learn organic chemistry in just 21 days. It's been intense. This was day eight, but the textbook makes a huge difference. Using just a chatbot, it felt like I was literally trying to run a 100 meter sprint, but blindfolded hopping on one leg. You know, there is no way where I was gonna get my best time. Maybe one of my legs is stronger than the other now from practicing like that, but honestly, the experiment was a fail. I could tell that I wasn't gonna learn organic chemistry well enough, and so I've switched to using organic chemistry as a second language, as a textbook to supplement this. But I still want this to be about how you can use AI, how I can use AI to the optimal potential, not just to cheat, you know, I'm not gonna say, oh, I can just plug in the test to AI. That's how a lot of people view AI in education, but that's not how I like to see it. I see it as this thing that gives you learning superpowers. And so some methods that have been very successful for me so far have been using the AI to dictate after I finish going through a chapter what I learned and have it generate key focus questions that I try to answer to make sure I have a deeper understanding of the textbook. That's been really good and it gives me insights on what I'm sort of lacking. It also goes into some memory science with active recall and other concepts that are really helpful, really powerful because I'm trying to learn this at a very breakneck speed running pace. And I'm curious what you guys think. What are some other good ways that you think I should use AI to supplement this textbook reading? I ultimately want to find ways to provide all sorts of value using large language models. And that doesn't mean I'd have to only rely on a single chat. I could also use a textbook. I also will want to look into what's the best way to use AI to absorb material in YouTube videos. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I will keep tuning in to you guys with more updates. Stay learning in the meantime. Peace.